never a doubt in my mind, friend. You are a true champion. So the Lord of Terror falls. May all the souls ravaged by his evil rest in peace. It's finally over. Many brave souls died in this war. Thanks to us, they did not perish in vain. Well, it was all worth it. Everything. The cuts, the bruises, having to break bread with that Templar. A jest. You were like family to me now. I owe you the world, my friend. But now I'd better shut up before I make myself sick. That was astounding! What you did back there? You're the greatest hero in history. Everyone in Kingsport will know your name if I have my way. They'll sing it for the rest of time. Hell, I will sing right now if you want me to. I can't believe you really did it. Are those tears in your eyes, Lyndon? <laughs> no. It's raining. It doesn't rain in the heavens. But it does not! You... You truly are the one the Prophet promised. You are everything that all the angels and all of humanity could have hoped for. And, well, you're awfully nice, too. I cannot believe it all came to pass, just as the Prophet wished. I left everything I knew behind to fight with you. It was the best choice I have ever made. I spoke with Ethereal. And he helped me translate the document. It was written by an angel who saw promise in humanity. He began to teach a group of young women who had killed the demons their masters summoned. They were you and your sisters, weren't they? None other. The prophet I have followed for so many years. He was an angel. Now I know why you recognized Tyrael right away. Yes, but I do not know whether the prophet was the dying angel I met or not. Writings say that he worked in absolute secrecy. Ethereal knew nothing of them. And you must find a new path through the world without him. You are right. And I hope that path will still be with you, my friend. I welcome the chance to travel with you. The day is won. Diablo is vanquished, and all evil with him. As long as the burning hells exist, there will still be evil, my friend. Time will tell. saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. place among you once again but this time as a mortal
Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as wisdom. On behalf of those who risked all to save us. Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. essence lingers in the black soul stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Service here is finished, and you should all run. Now fail. followed a trail of blood to Westmarch, where angels lay waste to the city. 
They stalk the streets, killing all they find. But why? Some dark purpose drives this slaughter. I will find out what it is, and purge these Reapers from Westmarch, the kingdom I once called home. Souls. You must come with me. People are suffering down there. I have to act now. But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthia. Tell Tyriel to meet me in Westmarch. Go. It will be done. I swear it. We're going to die! She's coming to kill us all! No! I watched in horror as the guard was struck by the maiden's magic. I heard that the gates. These gates are bound by a spell I cannot break. I find another way into the city. I can't let these people die. Malthiel's fallen angels have brought death to Westmarch, raising an army of reapers from the city's slain defenders. Once. These men and women were our protectors. Now, they are our executioners, scouring the city for every living soul and putting them to the sword. Many have been killed, and the Reapers are everywhere. Any survivors? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarun Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait! You're the demon hunter who saved Bastion's Keep! You'll save us too, won't you? You have my word. Spend wisely. see was blackness. It gave way to a pale light that sapped my strength. It seemed so easy. But instead, I drew upon the last of my will and fought back. The color fell back into my sight. The shadow was right before me, and I drove my spear through. The Revenant Shield Guards were once the personal guard of King Justinian IV. Appointed to the position for bravery and skill at arms, they accompanied the king at all times resplendent in their ornate armor, wrought by the finest craftsmen in Westmarch. But most spectacular were their shields, which they unerringly employed in the protection of their king. Defend and church! Defend these vile reapers! Revel in your victory, my friend! We found you. Tyriel, 
Why is Malthale attacking the city? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthale believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. We are the descendants of angels and demons. Malthale sees only the evil within us. Church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Akrat's Bane! This is worse than I feared! What is that thing? A death maiden! Stop her! Akrat, your soul will be mine. Few other archer would have fled as I charged, but this one stood its ground. We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory. I will not stand for this. Where is Malthiel? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. Is there any way of knowing why he wanted it? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Do what you can. I will save this city from Malthael's forces. What was that Death Maiden trying to do in the Cathedral exactly? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthale's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul crucibles. With two of them, Malthale has an endless supply of soldiers. Until I destroy them, then he will have none. The soul crucibles turn the dead into reapers? Sadly, yes. Even the death maidens? Their story is as tragic as Malthian's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. Malthale, my brother. He was wisdom. Leader of our council. First among angels. And now? He has become... this. How is that possible? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection. No, an obsession with human souls. Either way, it's disturbing, and I will stop him. The dead deserve peace. That sliver is just a fragment of the Black Soul Stone. How can it help us? The sliver is still connected to the Soul Stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone. And if we're lucky, even discover his plan. Evil must die. Turned at a strange time. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. Evidently. We stayed to fight, Robert and me. But he fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. Everyone runs. The question is, what will you do next time? At long 
last. A hero comes to save us. That won't bring my wife back, though. Will it? Stay in good health. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? You've heard the legend of the Tomb of Rakus, haven't you? Its location has never been found. Most guards think it's underneath Westmarch, but I suspect it's somewhere outside the city. Rakus was a clever man, after all. Westmarch originally grew from the efforts of the great general Rakus to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. Seized by the superstitions of the Zakarum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. And the Dunkraig is just death in horror. I thought I'd be safe here, but we've nowhere left to hide. He seemed in a day, so I brought him here with me, but he's hardly said anything. He's nobility of some sort, but I don't recognize the seal on his ring. The flames! The flames? Well, he was covered in soot. Perhaps he escaped from a fire. He never says more than a word or two at a time. For this doom, all of Westmarch, reveling in sin, worshipping petty idols. <laughs> the Zakarum are gone, and the Order of Malthael now rises. Praise Malthael, and your souls may yet be saved. He spares only the faithful. Donate to the Order, and prove your conviction. Did you know there were once two moons? Lyria is the one that is no more. <laughs> I think it's time I told you the whole story of Zai and his master, the god of desire, Durgist. You've never told the whole story of anything in your entire life. It, it, well, no. But Durgis's jewel has appeared again, and the time for secrets is over. So you'll finally tell me if you're a god? <laughs> there was a great gem market here in Westmarch. I spend many a carefree day browsing the aisles. You think that I will never again see all those happy little stalls, those rows of jewels, and those gem cutters? I know who is responsible for this. It's the poor. They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. What's that noise? Why would the angels do this to us? What do you say? It's obviously a demon. Is there anything on your mind, Hadric? You think Cardium is under attack as well? I'm afraid so. At least they have the Iron Wolves. Lord of Lies could not break them. The Angel of Death will not either. I can't believe we're still alive. And it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul-smelling place. I know that look. Something's bothering you. For too long have I lived with the knowledge that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. 
I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? A man who did what he believed was right. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. It was an honor. It is good to see you again. Though it seems like we are only brought together in the worst of circumstances. But I suppose if times were better, we would never have met. For a moment, I heard one of my sister's voices. I could not make out the words. I used to think I heard my sister sobbing. It's only grief. You will move on. My sisters are gone now. And I am the last memory of a world long since forgotten. You don't even know what happened to your sisters. So they linger in your thoughts. The Prophet has foreseen our victory. Well, the world's under attack and people are dying everywhere. It must be time for us to go on another adventure, right? Did you grab the jewelry at least? Harold, those monsters were about to kill us. Well, I would rather be dead than poor. Someone came for me, after all this time. My friend Heydrig heard you. Bloody miracle! Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I owe you both. Follow me. It's safe up there now. Remember that noise I heard? It was that lad you rescued. I'm Bryson. I came here to see your friend. <laughs> and now he won't go away. Well, you saved his life. Perhaps he's grateful. I am. In fact, I'm going to repay Hadrig by helping him. And I told you to stay away from my forge. <laughs> I grew up. Over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago, within hours of each other. Like they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now it's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. Need more time.